let's look at this question this can be a sample question for those who are preparing for indian economic services or even for those who have opted for ias economics option so just read the question try to answer yourself first it's a five marker let's say and uh, you have to answer this in around 50 to 100 words so why would countries form a currency union so one of the very important reason is that to have an exchange rate stability so when all of them they have the same currency then the exchange rate volatility is minimized so that is the first point the second reason is that if the countries are going to form a currency union it is going to be very helpful for them in lowering the transaction costs for example uh, there are people who are trading in goods and services in the currency union let's say euro right in in eurozone so let us say that people are investing in goods and services people are traveling across europe now when they have an obligation that is uh, they will be buying certain things in future so in order to minimize their risk they have to hedge it huh? now um, i mean they have to protect themselves from the currency appreciation depreciation etc and th that is going to involve a cost that is going to involve some kind of a risk now when you have a common currency it is going to minimize that transaction costs uh, so that is the another reason in other words what we are trying to say is that when you are traveling in the common region right which has a common currency union that travel is enhanced uh, people are investing in goods and services their trade in goods and services is enhanced why because the transaction costs are lower because you are sitting in country a and you want to buy something for uh, from country b this is going to involve a certain transaction cost also uh, because they have the different currencies uh, traders they also have to protect themselves from the uh, changes in the currencies they have to hedge their risks so that also is going to involve a cost now when you have a common currency you do not have to worry about that so it it would lower the transaction cost the other reason could be sometimes what central banks do is that they actually succumb to political pressure and they pick up the policies which are going to be inflationary uh, now when these central when there is going to be a common currency union then the these central banks are going to give power to the main central bank of the region so in in the case of euro let's say european central bank uh, so it is going to provide some kind of stability in the system hmm. now these bankers which were not following a responsible behavior they can give their responsibility towards a bigger bank which is going to see for the entire uh union huh? so this way they also eliminate uh, the problems of uh, irresponsibility in a way so how do we write this so a currency union can also help in lowering the borrowing costs how because it is removing the exchange rate instability uh, so it is removing the depreciation risk which might come from the exchange rates or it is also reducing the price risk or inflation risk by giving the monetary policy autonomy to the main central bank hmm. well <clears throat> if that is going to happen this is going to result in the lower borrowing cost for uh, for the countries but note that if any member country has taken up a loan uh, then it becomes the responsibility of that member country to honor that loan means to repay that loan so that much is required definitely but since it reduces the depreciation risk and the inflation risk to a certain extent it is going to reduce the borrowing cost which is going to increase the investment and has the growth in the country right so these are few points which you can probably write in the answer that why would countries form a currency union right thank you beta